Ok, what's up amigos, I'm back here again, reacting to another music video, We're go we want, I'm, go I'm, I'm going to be watching this for the first time, I haven't seen it before, I haven't heard the song before, I hear it's very racist, very fat phobic, very homophobic, very transphobic, all the phobics you can think of, they say it's all in this song, and I shouldn't listen to it. People of color, it's offensive to us. Because you know how the media likes to tell black people what should be offensive to them. So, like I do, when the media say don't check something out, I go and I check it out. If you want to know the direction the world is going, do the opposite of what the media tells you to do. So, let's hear. So this is the independent front page, right? Viral right-wing anthem by country singer Oliver Anthony, branded offensive and fatphobic. You know all these words that just make shit up, right? It's not no such thing as fatphobic, homophobic, this phobic, that phobic. Come on, man. They just make shit up. So, all right. There's, there's the article about it. I'll go to the video now and let's watch the video. So even the BBC, the usual suspects, are all saying the same thing. Rich men north... Of Richmond, the hit song that has divided the US. It divide is that powerful? This song is that powerful? It's divided the US. Whoa. Now I have to go and watch it now. Let, let's go see what's I hope it's a good video or something. Let's let's see. Alright, here it is. So Oliver Anthony, Rich Men North of Richmond. I think it's Richmond, Virginia or something. Alright, let's see now. Let, let's let let's go. I like his beard, by the way. <laughs> like a leprechaun. Now I'm just joking. Let's go. I've been selling my the fuck? What did I do? I've been selling my soul. Working all day. Overtime hours for bullshit pay. So I can sit out here. Sorry for pausing it so soon, but I love his voice, man. <laughs> oh, look at that powerful voice. I love his voice. Kind of reminds me of James Bay. You know James Bay? Yeah, he's, he's got a very powerful voice. Like he's singing from the heart. All right, I'll, I'll try and not pause it so much. Let, let's see. I want to... Yeah, let, let's see. For time hours, for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away It's a damn shame What the world's gotten to For people like me People like you Wish I could just wake up And it not be true But it is Oh it is Living in the new world With an old soul These rich men know the rich men Politicians look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, cause all this damn country does. Is keep on kicking them down Lord, it's a damn shame What the world's gotten to For people like me For people like you Wish I could just wake up And it not be true But it is you do 
And they don't think you know, but I know that you do. Cause your dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed to no end. Cause the rich men, not the rich men. Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. I don't know whether to. So much emotion in this song. <laughs> Probably for the first time in my reaction videos, I'm lost for words, man. It's like you don't know whether to laugh or cry or smile. It's just this is a beautiful song. This is a beautiful song. Anyone that can relate, I'm, I'm sure ev almost everyone can relate to what he's saying. <sighs> Because the more the classes are uh, going far, far and far apart from each other. Because before, there's only a little distance from, from the uh, lower class, the middle class, the upper class. But now the distance is so far, especially thanks to COVID, how they managed, like, that was just a big heist. How they managed, like, milk the wealth, biggest wealth transfer in history. While everyone's being locked up in the house, the upper class is, like, extending their net worth. And the middle class is pretty much non-existent no more. So you can definitely understand what he's saying. Majority of people can. So how is this a right-wing song? I'm tired, man. Of this media nonsense. They're the ones dividing us. Not this music. This music should be... I'm sure this music is uniting. Like, uniting everyone. But they don't want us united. They want us to always be fighting over some nonsense, man. This should be an anthem. For, like, everybody. Come together and realize we're all collectively being screwed. Fuck your skin color. Who cares about whether you're black, purple, white, gray, pink? <sighs> being screwed all together. I need to read this. Can you see shit? <sighs> BBC, man. Fuck. In the culture wars that continue to divide US politics, the right wing may have found its latest hero in Oliver Anthony. Whether he likes it or not. Last week, Anthony's song, Rich Men North of Richmond, which criticizes Washington and big government, dropped on the West Virginia radio station's YouTube channel, and the unknown singer-songwriter became a viral sensation with more than 2 million views, well, right now it's way more, 2 million views in uh, 2 days, and more than 20 million views so far. In the roughly, produ <laughs> in the roughly produced video, Anthony Burley guy. <laughs> Uh, calling someone Burley's not in songs, guys. Burley guy with a big red beard and the guitar stands in a wooded area, uh, looking and sounding like an everyday blue collar worker. All right, so why are you trying to make it seem like big government in Washington is a good thing, and the regular everyday blue collar workers that are being screwed over criticizing big government is a bad thing? Are you serious? You 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 can you can get expect nothing profound coming from the BBC. Because these people, these these are the corporate media. They they owned the the the, the media in the West, the entertainment industry in the West in general is owned by about three families that control the whole thing. So they literally control the minds of the masses. So this they they don't do journalism. This is no journalism. See all this the, the independent, the BBC, the. Uh, what the fuck is this Intelli intelligence sir all these people do not do they do not do journalism instead they encourage real journalists to be arrested and prosecuted like um Julian Assange who actually did real journalism these talking heads were advocating for him to be locked up for doing journalism how is this right wing? Oliver Anthony and the incoherence of the right wing populism. How is this right wing? How is this? You know, before when they say something, when they say something is right wing, they're actually talking about like 
Nazis, you know, Sieg Heil and all these weirdos walking around trying to uh, evangelize about the superior race and all that nonsense. But now when they say right wing, it means nothing anymore because they've watered it down. So I'm a right wing. I'm a right winger. I'm a conservative. Do I look like a Nazi to you? What is this? So if you have common sense now, it, you go back to the Vietnam War days. The left were against the war, the left protests and all these things were anti-war, but now the left is pro-war. And the right are now anti-war. You, you see everything's upside down now? Man, I don't even want to read this article because it's just gonna be it's just a bunch of nonsense trying to like bait people into arguing with each other. I don't want to argue with anyone. Like whether you're a white person, a ginger person, <laughs> whether you're a white person, a black person, a Chinese person, why should I have an issue or an issue with you? Because, oh, this person, uh, that some white person is racist or some Asian person is racist or some black person is racist. Oh, this person don't like this. That person don't like that. So we should all be fighting against each other. I don't know. <laughs> no. Even if we don't agree on the same things, I don't hate you. I love everybody. I see everyone as my extended family. So that's why all these things, well, because I wasn't raised to see race or color. I don't understand all this nonsense. When I, when I look at the media and they criticizing common sense. The media is supposed to be the voice of the people, but it's not because the voice of the people have been bought by Raytheon, and Black Rocks and uh, Bo Boeing and all these weapons manufacturing companies that own the US. So I love this song. His voice is powerful. Very emotional song. I'm going to be playing this song every single day. I love this song. It's a really, really, really good song. Of every black person out there, when the media tells you not to check something out, they're telling you to be out out outraged about something. No. Do your own research by yourself. It's not hard now to open Google or check your phone and see things for yourself. Don't. Don't let them own your minds, man. Don't let them get you emotional because if they can control you emotionally, they own you. Don't, don't, don't let them do that. We're all brothers out here, man. We're all in the same struggle, man. You can hate people. If we get invaded by aliens, you think I'm going to be worrying about the person by my side if it's what color they are? No. Nah. That's my brother. That's my sister. We're all in this together. No aliens going to try and stick probe up my ass. What? I'm going off on a tangent now. <laughs> until, until next time. <laughs>